Okay, this will be how to change from an NBX 100 chassis to a, a V5000 chassis. Basically, all we're going to do is take the cards that are down here and move them up into here. <clears throat> the, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a screwdriver and a Sharpie. The Sharpie is for labeling the cables um, so you have some idea of where they came out of and it's whatever uh, description makes the most sense to you, but I'd recommend the the description that's right next to each jack. Um, and then, uh, what you want to do is warn everybody that the phones will be going offline uh, uh, while this is taking place. It, it should take 15, 20 minutes is all. Um, okay, so once everybody's been warned and each of the cables have been labeled, it's, it's, it's safe just to go ahead and pull the power out of the front. <coughs> And then you'll want to disconnect all the cables, and then and then start moving the cards. Now, <clears throat> depending on which location you're at, it, it is which cards will be there. In, in Ohio and California, you'll, you'll have this card, which it has the uh, part number in the lower left-hand corner. It's a three C one zero one one six, and you'll un un. un Loosen the thumb screws on either side, slide it out, <clears throat> and then move it into the V5000 chassis. And you see there's little fingers on either side for those to slide in. And then it, it'll slide most of the way until it gets almost all the way to the back, and then give it a little shove and tighten it down. Now, then the other card is the 3C. 10114. Um, in Canada, you'll have two of these. Uh, in Ohio, you'll, there'll be uh, one of this card. And um, in California, it, it's uh, j just the T1 card. And again, they just slide in. Okay, and those are the only cards that you'll need. The, the, the other card, that, uh, it, it, the, this card could be anywhere in the chassis. It's the uplink card that stays in the old chassis. And if there is the uh, NCP card, it's a 3C10110, that stays with the old chassis as well. It's not needed up here, just the analog and the T1 cards. <laughs> and then once it's in place, uh, go ahead and, and uh, hook the cables up like they were. And, and there are probably more cables than this. That's, that's why I had to go ahead and label it. Now the uh, <clears throat> the data cable that was plugged in to the uplink card it goes into a different spot on the V5000 chassis. You'll have uh, the chassis you'll have only have two ports. You want to go to e either one of those ports over here will work fine. It'll, it'll say uh, 10 one. 10100M port, just plug it in there, and then uh, after everything's hooked back up, go ahead and hook up the power to the V5000 chassis. Now, unfortunately, uh, it is around the back. There we go. And then uh, give it five or ten minutes to come all the way back up. Should see a solid or, or this light blinking. Uh, once the T1 card comes up, you should see six solid green lights. And then uh, on the analog line card, once it has finished booting up, uh, yeah, when they're all blinking together, that means it's still booting up. And once they just start going one by one by one, blinking intermittently, then that means it's up. And uh, basically, that's all there is to it.